Here, we have a flat shape. We know some of the sides and some of the angles. One of the goals in geometry is to learn how to find the unknown sides and angles. Before you tackle complex shapes like this one, it's best to start with simple shapes. And one of the simplest shapes is the triangle. We know that the sum of the angles of any triangle is 180 degrees. This means that if you know two of the angles, you can find the third by subtraction. But what about the sides of a triangle? If you know two of the sides, can you find the third? This is a challenging question, and you'll learn the complete answer in trigonometry. However, for certain triangles, right triangles, there's a simple answer. For a right triangle, if you know two of the sides, you can find the third side. You find the length of the third side using the Pythagorean theorem, which is named in honor of the ancient scholar Pythagoras. Here's what it says. Suppose you have a right triangle, a triangle with a 90 degree angle. Label the three sides A, B, and C. It's actually really important that you label the longest side C. The longest side for a right triangle is called the hypotenuse, and the other two sides are called legs. Now that we've correctly labeled the three sides, we're ready for the Pythagorean theorem. It says that A squared plus B squared equals C squared, and the converse is also true. If a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then it must be a right triangle. Let's see an example. One of the simplest right triangles has sides of lengths 3, 4, and 5. Let's check that the Pythagorean theorem works. Does 3 squared plus 4 squared equal 5 squared? Well, 3 squared equals 9, 4 squared equals 16, and 5 squared equals 25 and 9 plus 16 does equal 25. It works! Let's see a second example. Look at the triangle with sides 9, 40, and 41. 9 squared equals 81, 40 squared equals 1600, and 41 squared equals 1681, and 81 plus 1600 equals 1681. Whenever you have a right triangle where all three sides are integers, we say the lengths of the sides form a Pythagorean triple. I'd like to take a moment and stress that the Pythagorean theorem only works for right triangles. For an obtuse triangle, a squared plus b squared is less than c squared. If you have an acute triangle, then a squared plus b squared is greater than c squared. We only get a squared plus b squared equals c squared when it's a right triangle. Let's see one more example. Suppose we have a right triangle with a hypotenuse of length 10 and one of the legs has length 7. How long is the other side? Let's call the unknown side A. Using the Pythagorean theorem, we get A squared plus 7 squared equals 10 squared. Squaring the numbers, we get A squared plus 49 equals 100. Subtracting 49 from both sides, gives us a squared equals 51. Next, take the square root of both sides. This gives us a equals plus or minus the square root of 51. Since a is a length, it must be positive, so a equals the square root of 51. This is approximately equal to 7.14. If you give an approximate answer, be sure to use the approximate symbol.